What did you think when you first read this script and talked about this role with John? Uh, I, I talked to him first. He reached out and asked if I would do it and if I would read it. And I was like, he was so, he's like a big kid. He was so excited. I, I was saying yes before I read it. And, uh, and, it, and he's just an incredibly magical, meticulous artist. I don't know. Yeah, what was it like uh, working with him as a director? Did he give you any notes? Did you collaborate with him at all? You know, he, he knew exactly what needed to be done ever, about everything. And, but he's so generous. He caretakes all the time. He keeps a mood that is upbeat and happy. He's just like this giant kid. He's a good guy. I love that. I love that. You worked a lot with the animated Im imaginary friend characters, but I wanted to ask who in Hollywood would you want to voice your imaginary friend in real life if you had one? If I, if I had to be an, an imaginary friend? Uh, or if you had one in real life, who in Hollywood would you want to voice them? Just like all these big name people that are Wanda voicing Sykes. this movie. I want Wanda Sykes. Wanda Sykes, that's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Did you have an imaginary friend growing up? So many of them. Yeah, every day. Just switch it up. We interact with them. Then I play their role and I play everyone else's role. I love that. And that's how I ended up here. Yeah, no, for sure. And I want to say, I had to break out the tissues at some point during this movie. What do you hope that everyone takes away, especially kids, take away from this movie? To, to not lose the magical worlds that we create. They, they, they make us happy. They make the, they make the day easier. They, it, it, it could lead to, like, real magic keep dreaming keep dreaming